if this is only going to get more intense as computers become more powerful, then what does that tell us about our future? We're going to start to think about ourselves as the patterns that the machine thinks about us. It's, it's just, we are, I don't know the Spanish word, we are a mimetic species. We, the monkey see, monkey do. If the monkey is the computer that's now telling you you're a pattern, it will influence the way you think about yourself. This is the deeper point, is then our sense of privacy is changing as we come to see ourselves as represented in data patterns and being analyzed through data patterns. And so the need to think about privacy is to think about are there limits to the data anal analysis? Are there limits to the ways in which machines can be used to categorize us, to flatten our existence into zeros and ones? There is a flattening of data analysis. The richness that makes us feel unique gets taken away. It gets digitally represented but taken away. So this is the key, is when we want to think about the role of agreements in a free society, we need to be agreeing about the deep things and not the surface um, at this moment in time, right? One other thing is the individual consent in a pattern-based world fails because once the computer has grouped you accurately, if one other member of the group gives their data up, they actually give it up on behalf of the whole group. So what do I mean? Well, let's take a sensitive area like health privacy. So let's imagine that um, <clears throat> there is a correlation between people who have a particular genetic disease and their consumption. So I'm making this up, but let's, let's imagine that you have a genetic condition that causes you to really like the taste of milk. So you, you now consume twice as much milk as the average adult. And, and there's a strong correlation that when you're drinking that milk, you have this condition. If that's true, then, then a person with that might give up some additional data. And now we know that if you have, like the milk, you have this condition and you have this other attribute. Maybe it is, you know, uh, you're very good at one thing or you're very bad at something else. As soon as one member of the group allows the machine to make that connection about that one member, the machine will make it about everyone in the group. So the minute your group member, who you've never met, gave up this information, you will be profiled based on this new data. And so individual consent is not helpful to you in that situation. Somebody else has caused your data profile to change. So the future, and I did that on purpose. <laughs> so the future, I want to just talk to you because this is, I, I believe the idea of this forum is to say, let us sit here on a really bright and sunny summer day in Barcelona in a dark room and think about the future. Let's think really deeply about what's going on with this internet. We just use it. It's, we're animals, we can't help it. We see the children, the children see an iPad. They're six months old. They know, right? It's crazy how quickly we adapt to the technology. But we are an adaptive people. It is, it is who we are, but we are adapting very quickly to a very quickly changing environment. And I'm, am I speaking too quickly? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I get excited. <laughs> um, so we really have to, we have to come face to face with the fact that our concept of privacy our con goes to our concept of ourselves and our relationship to each other. There's some things you should see about me, you should know about me. There's some things I should be allowed to keep 
to myself and vice versa. This is how we've always been. We still need that total privacy torture, no privacy torture. We need to live somewhere in the middle. But that middle is a big space. And we're moving in this middle, and we don't quite know where we will come to the end. But we need to accept that if we are going to network ourselves, as we now are, we are more networked than we ever were before. We rely on these big systems with big capabilities that we need to work together. We need to articulate what we want as groups as individuals, we are powerless, but as groups, we can actually have influence. And so the future, in my view, the future of, of privacy regulation is not about contract. It is not about individualized preferences. It is about working together to come up with some understanding of what's fair, what is reasonable. The company needs some of this data to get advertising to pay for the service. But how much? What uses? What types of data need to be off limits? That's, that's the future of our conversation. So stay active, stay engaged in these conversations.